All right. Uh, today I'm going to repair my uh, master control for the lift master. Apparently it started flashing lights and it did that after there was a power outage. Um, a couple of lights were flashing. That one right underneath the sensor button and of course the one above the learn. It's like a red and yellow flash. It was very rapid. First I didn't know what was going on. It would flash and then it would kind of pause and it would do it again. So anyways, I went ahead and took it apart. You know, it's pretty easy. Unhook it off and then on the back, I'll show you. Basically it says uh, red and white. I unscrewed that. Those are the wires right there. And at that point, there's a, uh, there's a piece of plastic that sits right here, right on top of this. Let me show you. Ooh, I'm doing this one hand. <laughs> so anyways, this is a piece of plastic. That's my model number. Uh, 888 LM LiftMaster. Apparently there was a uh, 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 technical service bulletin where they would uh, basically, if you file the complaint or send in that, you know, you own this and messed up, that they would go ahead and reimburse you. They'll send you a new one. However, I found out that that ended in August 2022, so I kind of passed that date. So, anyways, it's pretty easy. There was two screws right here. Just undo those screws. Use a screwdriver to pry this. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna try to repair this. And uh, so what I found out was that it has to do with the circuit board itself and the components on there. So, so what we're looking at here is the the main thing that usually goes out are these capacitors. And what they do is they hold a charge, right? I think the new one has a battery instead. Kind of keeps the voltage regulated. So I'm gonna. I'm going to show you underneath a microscope here, or well, not a microscope, but a magnifier. Oh no, you can see it. Ooh. But you will see this one right here to where my thumb is. Do you see that little bit of fluid that it kind of spilled out? Yeah, that's the one that's messed up. So, see that? You can probably see a little bit of it. Anyways, it looks very clear from my point of view here. I'm trying to kid you guys. But anyways, got to replace the capacitors. And, uh, you know, let me see if I can get a closer view. There it is. You see the fluid? It's already out. So, uh, this is 2.7 volt, 1 farad. Go ahead and order an Amazon and then kind of go from there. You have a soldering gun or a soldering tool, you should be able to do it. Give it a shot. If not, you just buy yourself a new one. So I'm going to pause this so I can uh, set this up. All right. Um, I didn't want to bore you with the video because I couldn't find a stand for my uh, my phone uh, to do the camera. But anyways, uh, that's what I did. I removed this from the... Uh, uh, the the control board itself and I here it is this is the one that busted you can see that so went ahead and I replaced it with these I bought a 10 packs off of Amazon again you look for the 2.7 volt one farad and uh, I just used a typical uh, soldering gun but once you install it back what you're gonna notice is that uh, two lights will start to flash and it'll be the one right above the learn and that yellow one. That means it's just charging. Once it fully charges, then you're basically good to go at that point. So uh, at this point, everything functions now. I'm just going to put it back. But uh, hopefully that helps somebody. Um, again, I, I, I skipped the part where I was soldering. But uh, it's, it's straightforward. You could Google videos on that. All right. Other than that, uh, thanks.